as with any uh, technology, um, you know, the questions we ask and the problems that we identify are actually very important, right? Uh, so, you know, sometimes we may not be asking the right questions even. Uh, when it comes to the gene drive mosquitoes, uh, for example, the target malaria case, um, you know, there are already questions with regard to, you know, um, the efficacy of whether it's even possible, uh, you know, to, to have to, for them to develop these mosquitoes. Uh, they've got lots of technical issues to overcome in the first place. But of course, then when, if you come to releasing it, uh, in communities, then, you know, really uh, the prior informed consent, um, the free prior informed consent of these communities is important. And this isn't just about, you know, one-sided delivery of information uh, from a project proponent, for example, but it's really about engaging and understanding what the key issues are for these communities. Um, you know, and, and the question, of course, with malaria, absolutely, you know, it's, critical, especially for sub-Saharan Africa. It's, it's a scourge uh, on these countries, uh, and in this day and age, we, we actually have the tools to be able to deal with this. Um, you know, and it's really, I think, a question of um, poverty, right, and access, uh, because you know, countries or peoples who can afford it are able to afford the treatments because we have effect, you know, antivirals that can deal with it, and there's lots of other, um, you know, um, um, Primary health care issues, access uh, to, to primary health care is really important, sanitation, those sorts of issues are really important to discuss as well. Um, so I think a lot of it is really about how we frame the problems and then how do we see the solutions uh, you know, for, for, for these problems. And we need to ask the right questions. And I guess part of technology assessment is also about this, uh, to identify you know, what is the, the problem that we're trying to find a solution for. Is this technology... Uh, you know, robust and, 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 and fit for purpose, really. And, and it's not just about assessing one technology, but assessing a range of technologies to solve a problem. So in this case, then you have uh, a broader discussion about are there alternatives? Are there other alternatives that are available uh, to address this problem, for example? Uh, and that's important. And, and I think this whole idea of technology assessment and broadening up both um, upstream and downstream is very important because then we are asking bigger questions and secondly we are also uh, consulting and involving and getting the participation of the communities who are going to be affected by these interventions.